What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Today is an exciting day for Samsung Galaxy phone users because Samsung has officially introduced the Display Assistant module, a GoodLock module on GoodLock application. Now this module may not be new for some of you guys because this was released in beta in a few other countries and here in India, now it is officially available in the form of beta on GoodLock application. Now I did install this application and made a few videos about this in the past a few months ago but I did not get this application officially on GoodLock. I had to sideload it using an APK from apkmirror.com but now I have got this module right here with this brand new icon with the beta banner right here and what's interesting is this is not supposed to be a good lock module this was a good guardian module which is now called galaxy labs and it looks like the good lock team has borrowed this module from galaxy labs and put it inside the good lock application or maybe it's one of the same team which is working on these modules anyways now let me show you this let me tap on this eye icon and tap on this three dot button and tap on go to store now here you can see it says galaxy labs now if you search for any other good lock modules let's say theme park now on theme park it says GoodLock Labs. Now GoodLock Labs and Galaxy Labs are different. Galaxy Labs used to be called as Good Guardians where there are a few modules on that as well and those modules are also quite useful for the Galaxy phones. However, those modules are available in a very few countries including the US. But here in my region, there is no Good Guardians or Galaxy Labs so those modules are not available. We only have GoodLock. Now let's go back to GoodLock application and let's check out the display assistant inside Galaxy Store. Now this is a very interesting application first of all let me show you the change log here now it supports one ui 8 now this phone is running on one ui 8 beta 3 and the display assistant is now supported and it is also supported on one ui 7 so if you have a galaxy phone maybe get galaxy s24 series s23 series or a series any other phones search for display assistant on galaxy store you should be able to find this module do drop a comment in the comment section whether you have got this module on your phone or not and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the like button let's target at least a thousand likes for this video when you hit that each like button that will push this video to reach many more people so go ahead hit the like button as well now let me just scroll down here the version is 7.0.20 update date is 7th March and the size is just about 4.64 MB for this update. Now let me go ahead and update this. Now if I don't update this, it will be sitting right there on GoodLock application. Let me quickly show you that. Let me bring in the uh, S24 Ultra here. Now on S24 Ultra, let me open GoodLock application. Now here on top you will see, uh, not on top, on the at the bottom you will see Display Assistant. You can see Display Assistant offers an extension to various display related features it says and this is also in beta for the Galaxy S24 series and this is where you will find inside the GoodLock application or you can go ahead and search on the Galaxy Store. Now let's go ahead and show you guys what exactly this module is all about, what can it do because this is very interesting and it is very very useful as well. Let's go ahead and open the application here. You will be uh, welcomed with these options. We've got app screen timeout, keep screen on, brightness limit profile, adaptive brightness options, standard refresh rate apps, screen curtain. Now let's go ahead and take a look at one by one. The first one is app screen timeout. It says set screen timeout for each application. It's very clear. Uh, you can set, you can choose a specific application and set a screen timeout. Let's say now I will tap on this plus button here and maybe I will select X. Uh, there is no search option here for some reason. <laughs> that is strange. We should have had a search button. But anyways, now uh, let's select a specific application. Maybe let's say Samsung Internet and tap on add. Now I can select auto dim option here. I can enable auto dim. If you want it, you can do that or you can disable it. And we have got screen timeout options here starting from 15 seconds, 30, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes and 10 minutes. We can choose a specific screen timeout for an application. Let's say I do not want the screen to go off while using a specific application. Set your screen timeout for that specific application. That is the first one. Now let's go back here. The next one is keep screen on. The screen will stay on for 30 minutes. Let me tap on this. The screen will stay on for 30 minutes. The screen will not stay on when Press power key to turn off LCD, device reboot, the battery is below 15%. So in these conditions, the screen will go off. Let me show you the default screen off time that we have. Let's go to display settings and tap on screen timeout. The maximum timeout is 10 minutes, but with this module, uh, for any reason, if you want to keep your screen on, you can turn this on for 30 minutes. And you will also be able to add a quick 
uh, quick settings button. It's not added. Let me tap on add. And now it will be available in the quick settings button. As you can see, keep screen on toggle is right here. When I enable it, the screen will stay on for 30 minutes. It will not go off unless you uh, turn it off manually. Now let me just turn this off and let's get back here. Let's go to the third one. Brightness limit profile. Now this is very interesting. Let me tap on this standard brightness is limited at high temperatures now usually uh, the phones are set to standard where the brightness will be limited at high temperature let's say you're playing a graphic intensive game for a longer duration and if the phone heats up the brightness will be limited basically you will not be able to achieve the maximum brightness possible on the phone when the phone heats up now if you select light option brightness can be kept up at high temperatures but the device cools down slowly now if you are playing a game and if you want that brightness to be there if you're playing in a brightly lit condition and you do not want the phone to uh, lower the brightness when the phone heats up then you can select this light option but yeah the problem here is the phone might start lagging because the uh, phone will not cool down uh, immediately it will slowly cool down because the temperature will be up and your frame rates may start dropping while playing the game. Now, depending on your requirement, you can always select these options. Now, that is an option that we have. Let me get back to standard and let's get back here. Adaptive brightness options. Let me tap on this. We have got a slider here. This is interesting. We have got adaptive brightness options, three different options for bright uh, in, on the slider here. What this does is the speed of brightness change depends on the surrounding environment. Now let me quickly explain this to you. Let's say you're using your phone in brightly lit conditions and you suddenly move your phone to a dark area, then the brightness will slowly go down. And the time taken to go down is called brightness change speed. Now by default, it is 1x. If you want that to be faster, you can change it to 2x. Now what happens is when you move from a brightly lit area to a dark area or from a dark area to brightly lit area, the brightness will quickly change. Of course, depending on the conditions, it will increase or decrease, but it will happen quickly. And if you do it at 4x, there won't be any lag, any delay. You will have the brightness adapt to the environment quickly at 4x speed. That is just fantastic. Now let's go back. The next option that we have is standard refresh rate applications. This is also a very important option. We can extend the battery life by applying standard refresh rate for each application. Let me just tap on this. Now what happens here is we can choose a specific application which will run on standard refresh rate, which is 60 Hertz refresh rate, which will in turn save some battery. Now, for example, let me tap on plus button here. Let's say I'm using LinkedIn. I do not want the phone to run at 120 Hertz display. I will just add LinkedIn. And let's say I want to add Gmail. I want to add few other applications like social media apps or maybe uh, the media streaming apps like Netflix, YouTube and all will obviously run at, at 60 Hertz. You don't really have to change it. By default, it runs at 60 Hertz. It will never uh, play videos at 120 Hertz unless there is a specific setting. But yeah, by default media applications, I don't think you really have to add it here. Uh, let's say a few other payment applications or maybe uh, you know social media apps or maybe Spotify or any other applications you can add so that those apps, even including Google News, so that those apps will run at 60 Hertz display thereby saving some battery on the device. Just tap on add, you're good to go. Let's go back. The last option that we have is screen curtain. Extend battery life by applying screen curtain mode when operation is maintained for a long time without viewing the screen. Now let me tap on this. It requires notification access permission. Let me go to settings and enable display assistant here and tap on allow. Let me go back. Here it says screen curtain modes puts the screen in dose state when the app operates for a long time Try it out. Screen curtain mode is not available when during calls, playing games on YouTube and YouTube music. It would have been really great to see if we had this option on YouTube and YouTube music because we can play the YouTube video or YouTube music and enable screen curtain. It would have been really nice, but for obvious reasons, we do not have this option. Because if this comes in, people will stop buying YouTube uh, music and YouTube premium subscription and start playing the videos and uh, music in the background by turning off the screen. So for that reason, it is not allowed. But yeah, for any other application, if you run any application uh, continuously for a longer period of time and you do not want the screen to be turned on, then you can use screen curtain. Now let me tap on quick settings button here. Let me add quick settings. I'll tap on add. Now let's go to the quick panel here. We've got screen curtain. Just tap on this. This is the screen that you're going to see when you enable screen curtain mode. And the application which is running on the screen will keep running. As you can see, it says display assistant is running. 
because this application is something which I was using before enabling the screen curtain mode. As you can see, when you double tap on it, it'll go back to the application and you can just enable this on this quick toggle and the app is still running over here. This looks more like an always on display which shows the time, date, uh, battery percentage and it also tells that screen curtain is on. And I think it will also show a few other applications right here. So this is screen curtain mode which is going to be very useful for some of you guys out there. Now these are some cool features that we get with display assistant and most of these features offered on display assistant will help reduce battery consumption. That is a very important point to note here. What are you waiting for? Go ahead, download display assistant module now available I think in more or less all the countries. Let me know whether this application is available officially in your country or not. If you don't have it, you can go ahead and install it using an APK from apkmirror.com. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you have already downloaded our wallpaper application Volvers. There are some beautiful wallpapers available on the application both free and premium and uh, you can download the application from the link in the description. I add almost about uh, 15 to 20 new wallpapers every day so you're going to love it and if you want to get rid of ads you can go ahead and subscribe to premium. That is all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.